Today we, we are going to discuss about determination of soil moisture content by gravimetric and volumetric method. In this exercise we are going to learn the objective of moisture content in soil sample as well as their moisture content determination and the use of water management by gravimetric and volumetric method. Soil water content must be quantitatively expressed to accurately indicate the amount of water stored in the soil. Soil water content is nothing but the amount of water stored in the soil at any given time. It is usually expressed on gravimetric basis. The gravimetric water content defined as the weight of water per unit weight of woven dry soil. Gravimetric water is the weight of water per unit weight of woven dry soil. The gravimetric method is a direct and absolute technique for estimating soil water content and is therefore the standard method by which all the indirect methods are calibrated. The gravimetric and volumetric methods are direct soil moisture estimation methods. The basic principle involved in this method is drying a soil sample in an oven oven at 105 degrees centigrade until two successive weighings gives by same weight to determine the soil moisture content grams of water per gram of soil equals the initial field soil weight minus oven dry weight another comparable expression is the volume of water content theta v is the volume of water associated with given volume of dry soil. The usage of volumetric content rather than gravimetric water content often more convenient because in field we think plant root systems are explore, exploring certain depth of soil and also volume of water content represents the depth ratio of soil water. The calculation of water quantity is based on rainfall and irrigation added or subtracted to the soil. Conveniently, the numerical values of these two expressions are same. For example, a soil containing 0.1 meter cube of water per cube meter cube of soil is nothing but 10% by volume. The depth of the ratio of water is 0.1 meter of water, water per meter of soil depth volumetric and gravimetric water content are already related by the bulk density of the soil this method is relatively simple in operation in expansive most practical and provides reasonable accurate results in most situations hence widely used method is gravimetric and volumetric methods there is no limitation concerning the measurement of volumetrical and gravimetrically 0 to less than 100 bars however it is physically adverse relatively slow sampling time to time time consuming and higher depths labor intensive and destructive these are the one of the positive and negatives of the gravimetric and volumetric methods repeated measurement at one spot each time is not possible difficult in gravy gravel and rocky type of soils and cannot be automated in gravel and rocky type of soils gravimetric and volumetric method materials required is aluminium box soil sampling augers screw auger screw auger and screw tube auger balance with 0 0.001 gram precision in electric dry oven gunny sack or cloth wooden or cardboard basket these are the next this is the soil agar for soil sampling screw agar barrel agar and sampling tube dutch mud agar and peat sampler procedure record the weight of an empty moisture box select a representative spot in the field to try a soil sample for instance if sampling is done in an 
Craft field during early crop growth phase, draw the soil sample between two plants within a crop row. At mid and later growth stages, draw soil samples towards the point midway between two crop rows using one judicious disc discrimination. Drive the screw agar or tube agar vertically, vertically into the soil and draw the soil sample from desired depth 0 to 10 or 10, 15, 15 to 30, 30 to 45. Collect the 200 gram of soil sample from the grooves of screw agar in an initially weighed empty aluminum moisture box. Cover it with lead immediately and stored in wooden basket. Record the weight of moist soil sample plus my aluminum box on a sensitive balance to precision of 0 0.001 gram W. Small m, capital W, small m mm, uh, denotes weight of soil sample plus aluminum box. Put the box with lid open in an electric oven at 105 degrees for 24 hours for until two successive weighings record approximately same weight. Record the weight of dry soil sample plus aluminum box, capital W, small d. Enter the observations in table 1 and calculate the soil moisture content in the sample. The table 1 denotes calculation of soil sample by gravimetric method. Weight of empty moisture box, uh, capital W, M, weight of empty moisture box plus moisture soil, capital W, small m, weight of moisture box plus own dry soil, capital W, small d. Weight of water lost in oven dry is capital W small m minus capital W small d. Weight of oven dry soil capital W d minus capital W. Gravimetric water content theta m equal to the capital W small w by capital W by small d s. Volumetric water content theta v equal to theta m into bulk density. Practical significance of determination of gravimetric and volumetric methods. In this practical, we need we are analyze about the soil moisture content importance. To also we can know the knowledge of soil moisture content, uh, which is important for irrigation scheduling, uh, computation of evapotranspiration, crop water requirement to interfere the influence of water on plant growth and development. We we learn in this practical with the influence of water, how much of the influence on wa water on plant growth and development can be known by gravimetric and volumetric methods. These are the sample questions and problems. Why should the soil sample should be dried at 105 degrees? All this. Thank you, friends. Have a nice day.